So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that just so show you how quickly and easily this does this. So I'll delete that gallery. So that's gone. So now when I go to my camera, I'll just take a random bunch of photos, some normal. So these are just standard uh, HTC Ultra Pixel camera images. I'll turn on Zoe. Now this will take a three second burst. You can see that going across. And that's actually um, a bit of video which you can scrub along and get exactly the photo that you want just by image, save frame. It's actually got a bit of pre-shot on there as well. Um, if I take another couple of photos, this will be quite nice. I go across like so, HTC. Maybe one more standard photo. So all I've done is take a bunch of photographs there. If I go to my gallery, you'll see my photos are at the top. This is the automatic Zoe highlights which is just done straight for me there in a cinematic view and it looks fantastic. It just gives so much more emotion, much more feeling to the, to the photos that you're taking. And it automatically chooses the effect and transitions. You can choose it. You okay. can choose it. So there are uh, various effects that you She's can choose. Doing all the dope. Yeah, it's just doing it's, it all. It's weird. You know, just to share that as well, like instant. It's 30 seconds long. You can send it up to Zoe Share. You can send it to your friends. And you've got a video instantly. It looks really high class. Can you show us a bit the interface and sure so like a quick yes yeah, so this is a blink feed and so this, this is pulls news from this is many sources. everything that you want in one place so imagine i've just woken up and i've seen this this is everything that i want so be, whether it be news feeds whether it's social networks if it's uh facebook twitter whatever it's going to appear in here but the key thing is it's all things that's important to me and you can customize that so if i drag that down there um Customize uh, from here. Apologies. Uh, topics and services. You can choose from over 1,500 um, sources globally, and you can choose from categories. Um, and you, as you see here, I've got sport. I've selected a few sports that I'm interested in. Um, if I was going to across the apps, so if I wanted Twitter or Facebook, whatever I want to come in here, LinkedIn, anything like that, it'll appear in Blink Feed. And it's the full articles as well. So um, we've got some really slow Wi-Fi, apologies, but um, the picture would appear here and the full article will appear in that link feed. Can I also add my own sources, like my own blog or...? Stage note. So it's just from the ones that you can choose, but the, the, it's, it's so vast okay. that you're probably going to find what you want. I mean, this is obviously from today. And what i found is that um, you know, if there is something, uh, a feed that I am interested in, just add it up on Twitter, it'll appear in there. Um, but it will give you the whole article so you don't have to go to the website to look at it it's all in your blink feed and you can just snack on information so if you're in an elevator and you just quickly go into your blink feed you see something you like you click on it job done you, you've got it on there um, if you're more used to the like the usual android interface you've got that as well you can add traditional widgets so if i wanted a calendar in there like so okay I've usual still got htc ability. widgets yeah still around yeah um, you can set that as your home screen as well, but I'm, I'm more than confident that more, more okay. people will use that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you.